Hey guys, Q here, and I'm going to show you a really awesome trick uh, for Transistor, basically so that you can beat any battle uh, really, really simply using only one mod and one passive slot. Now, um, I'm going to show you a couple different ways this is useful. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what mods we're going to be using. <clears throat> we're going to be placing the help mod into a passive slot, and, uh, and then... This trick can be used with just that alone, but to help accent it, we're going to put the mask somewhere and we're going to put the breach on the mask just to make sure, uh, just to make it so that it uh, lasts twice as long. And we're only going to use those two abilities. Now, what, uh, regarding becoming a super user, you don't need to complete any actions. All you need to do is just continue hitting that R2 button, that turn button. And eventually you will become a super user now sometimes it takes longer than others of course uh, this one seems to be taking a while there we go um, and then you can use your super user attack now um, what I'm also gonna show you is sorry use your super user attack so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over here and no, I'm not uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna try and hit all five enemies uh, with the super user here really quick because I kind of need a different placement enemy placement to show you uh, the next step to this <clears throat> We're uh, you know, it, it uh, can take a little bit longer Come on and I'm not just mashing the R2 button and then it does a weird, does a clicking sound that's just kind of annoying. There we go. Now we're a super user. Let's see if I can hit all five at once. And then there we go. And I got a trophy for that. Outstanding. Now, um, what if, uh, what if for whatever reason I am off screen from the enemy? I can't see the enemy, but I still want to use this trick. There are two ways to do this. If you don't uh, have the mask in one of your slots, uh, you kind of utilize the auto aim function. So I do know there's one enemy in that top right direction over there. Let's say I can't see that enemy. So I'm going to try and become a user, a uh, super user. There we go. And I'm just going to kind of go in that direction to say about here. Hit that X button. The auto aim should take care of it. I have had a little trouble with this, but the auto aim should take care of it. And there we go. The auto aim found the enemy for me, uh, even though it was off screen. Now, if you don't want to rely on that auto, auto aim, this is where mass comes in, especially if it's double. Um, say you're off screen. Uh, say you're off screen for whatever reason. Uh, I use a, I use a, a scouting method where. Um, uh, say you can't see your enemies equip the mask and find out where your enemies are and then as soon as you are and say you don't want to rely on the auto aim method you can uh, become a super user here while in mask or you can try I should say there we go uh, and that's uh, you know that's best used if you don't want to uh don't want to rely on the auto aim method say you want to hit multiple enemies at once now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go into a real battle and show you why this is so effective uh, it's gonna be co accompanied with another trick to where the enemies cannot find you uh, so stick around all right guys so this is just gonna be a basic um, how do you uh, uh, how to use the uh, the trick here as soon as I enter the battle I'm gonna be hitting that oops as soon as I see those lines appear, I'm going to be hitting that R2 button. Uh, actually, I'm going to wait a second. There we go. I was waiting for them to get closer. I knew they were going to do that. But basically, just do that until you become a super user. Then utilize your attack. I do know they're right there. So I'm going to attack there. Do that. Then, uh, as, I mentioned, as I mentioned before, uh, it can be very useful... Uh, there's uh, having the mask can be very useful to accent this because as soon as I use my user attack 
I can, uh, and get returned to super t uh, regular time and my turn is being reset, I can turn on the mask and run, uh, run to a different area, essentially. Uh, and then once I get to that different area, I can continue... I continu can continue... Um, yeah, just so I can utilizing the trick. So now I'm going to take out that cheerleader. And basically, that's the trick I'm going to be using. Uh, I was, For the purpose of this video, I didn't exactly do it well because I was trying to explain it to you. I would have used different tactics, but uh, we're fine losing John here. Uh, because remember, we're using our super he super uh, super user. Yep. Of course, you still want to move out of the way of attacks if you have a choice in the matter. go again I would have done this differently uh, if I were using my normal tactics but I'm trying to ex I'm, I'm just really trying to explain it to you guys uh, right now we're gonna take out that snapshot and partially kill the uh, the clucker there we go now I'm gonna take out the uh, there we go now another thing I want to point out is that in any battle uh, if you're far enough, the enemy cannot see you. Notice there's the clucker there, and he can see me. If I go far enough away from him, any enemy, and they're off screen, they cannot see me. And this is where I explained it earlier, where if, you can, if you're not off screen uh, and you can't see them. Now, I know where he is uh, exactly, but if I didn't know where he was, I could use my mask find out where he is you know he's got a cheerleader there first so I'm actually gonna try and become a super user here to take out that cheerleader I think he has a detection or something on the mask uh, the clicker does uh, sorry clucker now normally at, at this point you could even potentially just uh... there we go utilize regular attacks, but I'm gonna take out the cheerleader here. And then, as soon as my mask gets returned, I'm going to utilize that. But again, any enemy cannot see you as long as you're far enough away. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go over to this corner, actually, because I already know kind of where he is. But just to scout him out, okay. So basically, I just gotta go all the way out to that corner. So I'm gonna try and become a super user. Just by mashing that R1 button. There we go. And now if you notice, the screen doesn't move with her here. But what I'm going to do is go all the way down here and hope that the um, the auto-aim took care of it. And then I'm just going to keep doing that until he's dead. I'm going to wait here for a second just to wait until my mask... Um, my mask comes back. There we go. Just to make sure that he's hurt. Okay, so he wasn't hurt because we didn't, uh, the auto aim didn't take there. So what I'm going to do instead, just to try and uh, get it to take better, is when I become a super user, I'm going to go down the line and then I'm going to. That was strange. Apparently, your super users can't go over disrupted parts. Whatever. So again, this method does take some practice, of course. Uh, but like I said, it's, it, these are these guys are probably the hardest on. They work really well, especially on a bunch of pain in the butt enemies, uh, such as b uh, barks. I, I forget what they're called. Uh, the enemy, the dog enemies. We're gonna try this once more. We're far enough away to where he can't see us and doesn't attack us. Enemies will stay still as they are off the screen. There we go. So I'm just gonna go all the way down that I can. Try and get to the corner. As you can see, my movement bar is uh, 
working there. And then I'm going to press up slightly to change my where she's pointing. And see if that did. See if that hit the enemy. There we go. So I did hit it once because I did because I did it that way. Um, she only auto aims if kind of if you're looking in that general direction, it seems. So I'm gonna do that once more. I'm gonna do that once more and uh, we'll have the battle won. So uh, you can basically win any single battle in this game except maybe one or two of the bosses, but uh, particularly if you lure all the enemies to one side and then you go basically to the opposite corner, they will just stay still. They won't attack you, they won't do anything. So just another tip from the Strategic Gamer and I hope it helps.